right, it's that time of day again. I'm heading to go get the little ones from school. I'm actually, again, running a couple of minutes late, but I think I should still be there right about on time. Just a little later than I like to normally pick them up. So, and then we're gonna make a stop by the post office and see what we've got in the P.O. box. It is really a beautiful day outside. I have a jacket on and I'm thinking I probably didn't need it today. All right, so we're here, but that was a really freaky trip because we are out in the country. We're out in the country, as you can see. Goats. And, the, and, there's and we had to come up a gravel road don't and I don't know. Down. The road's down here. We had to come up a gravel road and the rain must have washed a bunch of the gravel out and we were birds trying to teach their babies how to build nests. Hey. It was really, really a freaky ride and I was afraid we were going to go into the ditch. So of course I didn't film it because I'm not going to be crazy and film while I'm trying to keep the car on the road. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, that was pretty freaky. And I'm glad we made it here. And I think there's a road that I can go on that is not that bad. Yeah, because we saw the school bus come from that way. Yeah. I think there's a different direction I can come. And I'm going to no, ask no. Shelby when I get in. Because I'm not used to these roads out here. Can we get Celia, say hi. Scooby. Scooby. Be nice. Are you all excited, Ireland? Yeah. Zane had a nicely. little freak out moment because he didn't know not to reach out and pet a puppy. <laughs> That's my puppy. When they're puppy not ready nice for you to pet them. To pet Say hi, Shelby. Well, she's Hello. part pit bull. So. Hi. Oh. That's Thank Melody. You. Mommy, I got mm -hmm. new toothpaste from just me. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh. Can you take this home? This These are mine. Okay. Well, yeah. I have one. She left yeah. anti-social. You're so nice. And there are all of their goats. Well, I don't think that's all of them, but that's all I can get in the picture. <laughs> and Ireland loves coming to see these goats. She told me there was a mean goat. Yes, that black one. He's not mean. He ain't mean anymore. I just jumped the fence today because he was trying to ram me. No. Seriously? He rubs against you? And then he gets a little too friendly and he wants to play. <laughs> he wants you to be his girlfriend, Shelby. Yep. I know. I'm headed back and Shelby gave me a different way to go. So this is nothing. I mean, this is just a little bit of how the gravel looks um, where it's kind of choppy, but there are huge divots down on the other way that I came. It's, I don't know, it was very dangerous. So I'm gonna stop recording just cause I'm still on gravel, but yeah. This road is much, much better looking than what I just came up. I mean, I'm talking like even in a four wheel drive, I would have been a little nervous and I'm driving the minivan right now. So it really was not fun. Okay, so I'm back on pavement. Thank God, I I am not a country girl. Like I'm, I'm an Iowa girl. I can drive in snow like nobody's business. But gravel roads, they are not my thing. And when they've been all like washed out and rainy, yeah, even the road that I took was just a little too much. I do not like to drive on gravel, not at all. I'm a city girl, what can I say? Don't get me wrong, I don't mind country living at all, but if I were to have a house in the country, yeah, it'd have to be off and on a paved road. Snow, snow I don't mind. I had a girlfriend that went into labor once and it was a really, really bad winter storm. The snow was so deep, it was up to like the running boards on the side of the truck that I was driving. And I popped that sucker in four wheel drive and I got her to the hospital because the taxis weren't even running that day. You couldn't get a cab in the city of Dubuque to run anywhere, not even an emergency situation. So I got in my truck, picked her up and took her up to the hospital. That was a crazy story. I ended up having to drive her from one hospital while she was in active labor to another hospital because they would not take her insurance at the one hospital. They would only take it at the other one and I had to drive her in the middle of a snowstorm all the way across town to get to the other hospital. It was ridiculous. I was so mad. I'm like, how can you send a woman in labor away? I mean, how can you do that? And in the middle of a snowstorm, no less. It's ridiculous. I made dinner and now I'm headed out to go get Ireland and Zane from 
Shelby's house and pick them back up because it's a school night so they can't spend the night tonight, but they got to go have some fun and play with their friends. So as you can see, they're all having a blast. <laughs> and they don't want to leave and Zane thinks he's adopting a goat. Holy cow. All right, guys, come on, dinner. One toss, ready, jump, ready. <laughs> I want my goat. I want my goat. Hey, you, want, you, want me to go? <laughs> you can come visit the goat out here. There's nowhere to put a goat at our house, and I don't have grass for it to mow. <laughs> They're definitely having fun. As you can see, the kids had a really great day today. Um, they really enjoyed themselves. I did, however, learn a lesson. No going out to friends' houses on school nights because by the time I got them out there and then brought them back home, made dinner or everything like that, it was so late. We had to push chores to the side and all that stuff. So life lesson learned. No going to friends' houses on school nights. But they had a great day. They really enjoyed themselves. Got a couple of knacks and bruises along the way. But it's memories made. What do you do? <laughs>